breakfast show our cardiologist is in the house and we have been looking at a healthy heart from the previous uh, clinic day <laughs> Okay. Yes. yes, we we said that if we continue feeding people on sickness, 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 yes. even them who are not sick will become yes. sick. Yes. So we said, let us put a break and introduce yes. some something good. Sure. How have you been? Uh, very healthy. I mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, a few things come in like this, like that, but mm -hmm. God has helped us mm -hmm. to keep barriers mm -hmm. to guard. Our hearts. Yes, our hearts. Mm -hmm. And uh, God is good. Our family is doing good. My family is doing well. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very humbling to see that God cares for us even when we are asleep. We are woken up. We are well. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord. Amen. Yes. Welcome. Webuya is good too. And we bless God for the few showers of, of, of blessings. Yes. And uh, God has been faithful. Mm. It's a land we have not uh, suffered, uh, Mafariko. Yes. Uh, although someone said, "Ya kwamba Mafariko ni kiboko cha mungu cha kukomboa watu wake." Oh. Et imagine na beba nyungu na karonda ni yake. Yes, 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 But we thank God. So we have been looking at a healthy heart, mm. and uh, just on that. Yes. We, we 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 were told that the default setting of a heart is wickedness. Yes, yes, yes. So it's our duty, our responsibility mm. to incline mm. our hearts yes. uh, towards being healthy. Yes. It reminded us it's like a sponge. Yeah. So if you put it in bitterness, it absorbs. Mm. Mm. If you put it in happiness, it, it absorbs. absorbs. So it's up to us to know where mm. we are putting our hearts yeah. and we we'll began looking at the habits of a healthy heart mm. we only looked at one yes. that is spending time in the presence of god yes. in prayer and in obedience wow thank you so much for that reminder mm -hmm. actually a healthy heart loves the presence of god mm -hmm. because now it's the nature it's it's nature now mm -hmm. because you know nature you know determines uh, appetite Mm -hmm. You know, what you eat is determined by who you are. You can never find, you know, uh, a lion chasing after, you know, chicken. Uh, uh, yes, you know, uh, uh, grass. Mm -hmm. Yes. It can at least think about a uh, chicken, but. But uh, grass. Yes, uh, yeah. But leafy, leafy things. Leafy, leafy things. Because <laughs> of its nature, it's. it's uh, is it uh, carnivore? Yeah, it's, it's, it's carnivore. It's carnivore. Uh, but mwalimu akisali alisema simba akikosa nyama eh yeah. sasa hula nyasi sijawaiona ndio <laughs> uh, <laughs> simba <kikosa>. akakosa nyama <laughs> kabisa akakosa nyama kabisa <laughs> but it is maybe a possibility <laughs> so yeah. staying in the presence of god enjoying the move of god in, by the way and, and just and just um, seeing what god is doing <laughs> is so beautiful Another uh, habit, perhaps, mm -hmm. of a healthy heart is mm -hmm. it is it freely receives ministry mm -hmm. from others. Freely receives ministry from others. Yes, from others. How? Um, you know, uh, a healthy heart, a, a, a wounded heart. Sometimes you'll see them dealing with uh, generalization. Mm -hmm. Hear them tell you, you know, men are dogs. Yes, men are dogs. They are not uh, true pastors. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays things are very hard in Kenya. Mm -hmm. There are no jobs. Mm -hmm. Those are very wounded hearts. But then, just like Jesus, a healthy heart receives the ministry of others. They accept to be ministered to. Mm -hmm. Especially when they are like uh, in a state whereby they desire, you know, to have fellowship. They don't shy away from people. They find that people who are not healthy, they isolate themselves. Mm -hmm. They keep off from others. They, they prefer solitude. They prefer to be alone. When they come to church, they prefer to sit behind, you know, alone. Mm. They want to come in when it's, yes, almost when it's almost preaching. And time. once it's done, yes, they, 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 evaluate, they, they leave. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that I got to understand as a minister that the devil anoints people to hurt you. Mm -hmm. 
but God also sends people to help you. He sends people to heal you. And sometimes because of a heart, because of an unhealthy state, you are likely to refuse to be the ministration. the ministration of others. Because by virtue that people have left whatever they were doing, to just come and attend to you, knowing that in this as, as, as season, in this time, everybody's going through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And rarely will you find a person having the time to take care of you, to, to, to look after your issues. So mm -hmm. if you find a person that sincerely and genuinely looks at your own affairs, uh, checks on you, mm -hmm. you need to receive them, their ministry. That shows mm -hmm. a sign of being healthy. Mm -hmm. You are healthy. You mm -hmm. get that? Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus, you know, you know, knew that the Pharisees were going to, you know, bring him down. You get mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. He knew that he was living among sinful people. But he receives the ministry of, of being anointed by Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yet she yet he knew that she was a sinner. You get that? Mm -hmm. And 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 he uh, he receives the ministry and even rebukes the person that actually desires to uh, uh, rebuke her and say, Mbona mkuza, I am a footer. Tuka hudumia maskin. maskin. And then when it comes to the comparison between receiving ministry that is meant for his healing and ministry that is meant to the poor, he chooses the ministry that is meant to, uh, for his healing. Mm -hmm. So he says, let her alone, because nobody ever anointed me. Then Jesus also receives ministry from you know, Joseph. Mm -hmm. Yes, he says, no, is it Joseph or who? Let me carry a cross. Let me carry, uh, yes, let me carry the cross for you. Sometimes the, 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 the burdens, the burdens are, are, too are, heavy. are too heavy. And it's pride to carry the burdens all alone. Life is too short to discover everything by yourself and to do everything just by yourself. Mm -hmm. You need to have and acknowledge a helping hand. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I was analyzing and studying the word pride. You know, the word pride, pride. is P-R. I. Then I is in the middle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then right. Then, then D-E. Yes, then, so then I D -E. is the center. Yes, I is the center. Everything is centered on me. Sometimes we overestimate our ability mm -hmm. and we want to carry everything you, you don't want to share you don't want to talk to anybody you don't want to uh, to anybody to lighten your burden mm -hmm. even in ministry and it applies everywhere in leadership it's about security mm -hmm. you get that yeah. that i am not the only anointed man mm -hmm. i am not you know i am not el shaddai Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, you shall die if you do everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So, the art of trusting people. And, you know, it takes trust for me to tell you that this is what I'm going through. This mm -hmm. is, this is what, what is hurting me. And you just trust that because I've shared with you, it becomes lighter, the burden becomes lighter. But otherwise, if we don't develop the culture of receiving ministry from others, mm -hmm. we develop suicidal thoughts. We like we are like Elijah. Elijah says, uh, "I'm the only prophet left," mm -hmm. and God asks him, "What is now your prayer item?" He mm -hmm. says, "Kill me." Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Kill me," and then he says, "I am the only prophet." Mm -hmm. so most of the time, heart will put you to a level and of burnout and the level of whereby you don't really acknowledge and even estimate others as worth. Mm -hmm. because, uh, you see yourself as yes, the yes. the only one who married. Yes, like by virtue that God has taken you and put you in a place, even if it's among children, there are those people that he has entrusted with capacity to handle your affairs mm -hmm. most of the time. But the challenge with pride is it will remove us from others. Jesus, Jesus accepted the ministry of Mary, accepted to be ministered to by angels after prayer and fasting. And after temptation, you know, the Bible says the devil left him, mm -hmm. Satan left him, and then angels ministered to him. Mm -hmm. So, a healthy heart does not close itself to the ministry of others. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just realizing that God uses men to heal us, to heal us mm -hmm. even as much as the devil uses 
uh, uh, the devil uh, the uses people to break us. Mm -hmm. So he will still use the same same people. You get that? Yes. Uh, or even other people to heal you. So if you say all pastors, you know, are the same. Mm -hmm. Are hypocrites. Yes, you will miss on that man of God that is divinely appointed at your at, at the right time to come in to rescue you from that particular kind of of trouble. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yes. And then uh, you, look at Lot and Abraham. Abraham and Lot, their servants start fighting, and they get a le at a level whereby they say, "No, we cannot continue together anymore." Mm -hmm. And by the way, there comes at a time when you'll have to have a very diplomatic uh, yeah. association. Mm -hmm. Yes, you say, no, if you go to the left, without, go any, to the right. yes, without any personal vendetta, I'll go to the right. Mm -hmm. If you go to the south, I'll go to the north. And there is no need for us to fight. So they separate, and later on, Abraham hears that, you know, Lot has been captured. And the Bible says, Abraham, with 318 men in his born mm -hmm. in his home mm -hmm. you know they may trained not have men been, yes, they may not have been his biological children but they were trained circumcised by him and they listened to him he went and rescued his own nephew you mm -hmm. know and lord had a lot of challenges just receiving the ministry of of of, 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 of abraham. abraham but later on he was rescued you get that mm -hmm. so we have to open our hearts wide enough that god uh, may you know, minister to us through the people he has sent our way. Very healthy habit. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, Apostle, just on that, uh, do you think this one has contributed to now the hearts not being healthy and uh, resisting the health? You realize that you might have issues, you are overwhelmed, you are overburdened. But then you see this is a man of God, this is a woman of God. Yes. You go uh, open up and share and you're like, this is what I'm going through. Yes. And then you hear it somewhere else. Mm. Uh, I, I know there's maybe such a person yeah. who has been in such a, a, a position. Yeah. And now they fear, even when I'm overwhelmed, yeah. it's only my pillow that will know mm. I am overwhelmed. Yes. I cannot share. Is that still pride or? No, in life, you don't just share your issues with everybody. <laughs> First of all, you must have established a social capital of men and women that are your accountability partners. And you must do this in advance because offense does not, you know, if any, anybody who today will tell you they have never been, uh, you know, stabbed. <laughs> by pain. Mm -hmm. They have not yet experienced life. <laughs> they have not started living. Yes, they have not started living. <laughs> so as, a, as an individual, mm -hmm. right from the time you get saved or the time you grow up to this knowledge, mm -hmm. start establishing friends and knowing that, you know, putting in place structures. And part of those structures are the people and the friends that you trust. You cannot tell me that you just wake up and to go to a man of God you have no relationship with and mm -hmm. then you share with them. Some of them even will mess it more. So others will even take advantage of it. And uh, it is partly their mistake, but it's also partly a person uh, who is hurting his mistakes. Mm -hmm. Because um, they did not take time to establish a relationship. I usually tell my brothers that this relationship I'm building is not for today. Mm -hmm. It is for our future. And... Uh, you know what said one thing that when uh, uh, you see men leaving their own homes to come and take porridge in someone's co compound mm -hmm. it is not that they do not have their own porridge mm -hmm. it is not that they do not have they cannot see the sun or the moon ri rising from their, from own, their compound. own home mm -hmm. but it is just very good that kinsmen must always be together because we are meant to be together. Mm -hmm. That is why God said it is not good for this man to be alone. Mm -hmm. All in one. God wants community. Even God himself exists as a community. Mm -hmm. God the Father, the Son, and the, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. And we must have a very authentic community and put value on the community of very, you know, healthy relationships that will help us go through our valley moments. Because mm -hmm. they are there, sure. Mm -hmm. They are for sure. They are there. Yes, they are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when that time comes, of course, you, 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 
it is not only for pain, also for celebration. Mm -hmm. When that time comes, you just it's just be very easy. Mm -hmm. Say brother or sister, let's let's talk about it. You get that, and you're so sure that I'll not get, uh, I'll not hear it anyway. Mm -hmm. But let's now talk about in the event that you've had it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is to identify that it is a weakness on your side. Uh, for example, even if uh, I was I was having a challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, it's, it's only pride that you, you feel like it's only you that is going through that. You'll discover that mm -hmm. many others. And shame will never fail to come. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I have come to discover as a minister, one of the areas that you need to grow in capacity, even to handle visibility, is your ability to manage shame. Why? And your capacity to handle pain. Actually, one of the leadership growth uh, indices is growth in uh, pain management. <laughs> because as you, the higher you rise, the, 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 the more you increase chances of being hurt. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the very people that you supported, that you helped. I usually say that uh, our greatest hurt is not always physical. Mm -hmm. Like you were running and you fell and you broke your limb or so. Mm -hmm. Maybe have some pain. But the greatest pain that we go through are relationship pains. Very true. It's the people that ate in your house, slept in your house, you mm -hmm. paid school fees for, <laughs> even your own siblings. Mm -hmm. and then they'll turn again and tell you, look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, You've been working for all this time. All this what do you have to show you for? You not build anything. Mm -hmm. And yet, the very money that you are supposed to build anything, you <laughs> took them to school. <laughs> Together. Yeah. So you should expect that, and this has to. I want to speak to uh, brethren mm -hmm. that don't always extend your help to a person, expecting for acknowledgement, mm -hmm. expecting to be rewarded. Let your reward be from God. And mm -hmm. most of the pains are caused because of money. Mm -hmm. Very many people have been pained because you lend someone your money. And they refused to. When they were borrowing, they were talking so well. Very humble. But nowadays, when you call them, they don't pick your call. In, in fact, you are on blacklist. Yes, and, and 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 when you meet them, if your neighbors, you discover they are eating yeah, chicken. Yes, and 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 and, and uh, yes, mutton. Yes, but yet they have your money. <laughs> so I usually tell people, if you someone asks you for money and wants to borrow money and you are not so sure about their reputation, give them the money that even if you lost it. It won't hurt it you. It won't hurt you. So going back to that, that now your issue has leaked out, you have to coincide with the fact that shame will get anybody. If shame found our Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. the Bible says, for the joy that was set ahead of him, he despised the shame. You need to get to a level of despising the shame. <laughs> together yeah. that someone can smear you whether genuinely or, 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 in or, maliciously. Yes, or maliciously but they'll make it look real so if you are not yet accustomed to shame you will you will, you cannot you will not afford to start walking around mm -hmm. but a leader a person who is going to go for even a minister of shame you walk around and you put on his bio mm -hmm. together you say no though they have uh, blackmailed me, they have accused me, they are on a smear campaign, but I have my own internal conversation. Mm -hmm. And my prim primary premises are so far. Mm -hmm. I get it that my yeah. identity is so fixed that I don't need the approval or disapproval of another man. Mm -hmm. Together. Yeah. For me, you know, to to, to, to feel accepted. Sometimes you, you, you don't have to fit. You get that? Mm -hmm. So even if you hear you are issued somewhere else, are you the first one? For example, Marito Shem, are you the first one? David was there. Are you getting there? Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't like lock your heart completely. Or just open your mind up and say, okay, all right, it is gone, but have I been helped? Mm -hmm. I get it there. Yeah. And instead of it causing you pain, it should reveal to you the, the state of maturity of the person you've shared 
and therefore you take lessons. Mm -hmm. Yes, you learn your lessons, you become a little bit wiser. Now you remove him from or her from the list of the people that. But that does not mean that totally, completely, all men are the same. Some people have uh, have ability to handle issues, and you'll never. Know. I have witnessed them because of my uh, the fact that I am I'm pastoring hundreds of people. I have met men that you talk to and and that is it. It remains intact yes. between you and them. In fact, it dies there and then. I don't know how God helps them, but I have seen counselors, and that, that, that is the training that most of us would go through. Most of the pastoral teams should go through. One of the qualities of a good counselor mm -hmm. is to be discreet in people's issues. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much. So a healthy heart receives freely ministry from others. Yes. Uh, you'll allow us to take a short break, then allow our, our patient to internalize mm. something before we come back for another dose. Amen. We are taking a short break, but remember we are coming back with something more and more. So stay tuned. <music> Sin will most of the times take the church to the drawing board. A leader can lead an organization to the next level or mislead an organization to the next devil. Only kings sit on the throne. And so the reason why you are worshipping him is because he is worthy. His eminence, praise the Lord Jesus. The easiest is not always the best. He must partake of the Lord's table. He seated on a throne of grace but he's full of mercy. Now, because of the Lord's mercies, we are not destroyed. <laughs> I want to begin an organization. Establish a doctrine. And the doctrine is not a verse. Scripture must interpret scripture. God wants us to grow to another dimension called the Feast of Tabernacles. When you worship, God is not seeing you. He is seeing a ground. Grace is a virtue of God that takes you to heights and levels you do not deserve. Let Christ be your identity. My objective for this program is to raise a parent who can raise a godly child. God wants us to raise a godly seed. If you are a parent, you have a responsibility. And I believe your number one responsibility that God expects from you is to raise up a responsible child. Spiritual warfare is more real than physical war. There is a spiritual armor that carries all those military armory and nobody will question when you put them on. Your child is supposed to serve in the body of Christ and also serve in the community, in the world outside. What does the Bible say about education? There should be things your child should think over Ponder over, remember, these are the words that came from my parent. Life is a battle and we must engage in this battle. So Paul wants you to know that the tactics of the enemy are serious business and so he uses a specific word to describe them. Launch out into the deep there is a place prepared for you there is a place god wants you to get to when the enemy sees a daughter or a son of god coming his way he's shaking in his boots not because of you but because of the holy spirit of god that lives on the inside of you but that's somebody's word right there god said it's not enough for me to put you in green pastures i want you to rest and what I put you in. As many as believed him, to them gave he power 
to become the sons of God. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Unfortunately, the enemy and the work of the devil is threefold towards the family. Mwanamke hawezi akawa na mamlaka asipokuwa chini ya mamlaka ya mumewe. Mumewe hawezi akakuwa na mamlaka asipokuwa chini ya mamlaka ya Kristo. Naye Kristo hawezi akawa na mamlaka asipokuwa chini ya mamlaka ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo jambo la kwanza kutembea katika mamlaka ni kuwa chini ya mamlaka. Do not forget it. Plan about it. Prepare for it. Rejoice over it. And I'm telling you, although vision does not speak in the beginning, vision speaks always at the end. The Bible says at the end vision will speak. If Joseph uh, does not arise and take his position and fulfill his purpose, his brethren are likely to die of hunger. Many families are struggling today. They are looking for money. But the truth of the matter is that we are not uh, actually supposed to fight for money. Simply ask yourself, what vision is there? I just want to be I just want to be a world where being the best is only the beginning. Welcome back. Remember, it's Balozi Breakfast Show. And in our spiritual clinic today, we are handling a healthy heart and we are looking at the habits of a healthy heart. We've just received today that it freely receives ministry from others. Apostle, yeah. give us another habit. Yeah, and uh, there's a question you had posed before we went for a break. Yes. That I feel that we just need to clinically mm -hmm. finish it. Yes. Uh, um, most of the times, uh, people are hurting in churches, people are hurting in organizations, number one, because there are no opportunities for feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have, for example, suggestion boxes. And then we have a leadership that is not yet prepared to handle the issues of the people. And that's now why you say it, you get your issues on the market yes. or in the preaching. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very unfortunate. And that is why as uh, a church, as an organization, we need to have a GNC department. Because as a lead pastor, mm -hmm. If you keep on, you know, listening to the issues, man, listening to the issues eventually, you will have to be tempted to examples from your preaching. 
pull out those hands out of the which is what I want to tell the world. The one that shared with you will always no. tell. No, I'm the one I being talked, being preached today. Yeah. So you need to be so uh, careful about that you reduce your engagement with the congregation to the ministry of the word mm -hmm. and prayer. Mm -hmm. And in extreme cases where they are now counseling, that requires you as the lead pastor, but to engage other people to do that okay. for you. And of course, after a very careful, you know, uh, examination, mm -hmm. you don't recruit just anybody. It's on the basis of maturity. And maturity means that discreet. They are not shocked. You know, you can go to share with a person, a mother say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <Out of anyway. laughs> They are not judgmental in their approach. And that will help in the healing of, you know, so many of us that are broken. Mm -hmm. Then we need to have suggestion boxes, you know. And then we need to build a culture of, of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Together. And teach about forgiveness regularly. Most of the time, we need to teach about forgiveness so regularly. Find one of its value in the presence of so many things. And then uh, another healthy habit is that do you know after Jesus resurrected from the grave, mm -hmm. he never went back to the Pharisees. He never went back to the Pharisees. Yes, to prove to them that, you know, guys, I'm, I'm resurrected. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just want us to hold it there. Yeah. And then we come back yeah. and talk about the resurrection. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sin will most of the times take the church to the drawing board. A leader can lead an organization to the next level or mislead an organization to the next devil. Only kings sit on the throne. And so the reason why you are worshipping him is because he is worthy. His eminence, praise the Lord Jesus. The easiest is not always the best. We must partake of the Lord's table. He seated on a throne of grace but he's full of mercy now because of the lord's mercies we are not destroyed <laughs> I want to begin an organization establish a doctrine and the doctrine is not a verse scripture must interpret scripture god wants us to grow to another dimension called the feast of tabernacles when you worship god is not seeing you he's seeing a crown grace is a virtue of god that takes you to heights and levels you do not deserve let christ be your identity My objective for this program is to raise a parent who can raise a godly child. God wants us to raise a godly seed. If you are a parent, you have a responsibility. And I believe your number one responsibility that God expects from you is to raise up a responsible child. Spiritual warfare is more real than physical war. There is a spiritual armor that carries all those military armory and nobody will question when you put them on. Your child is supposed to serve in the body of Christ and also serve in the community, in the world outside. What does the Bible say about education? There should be things your child should think over Ponder over, remember, these are the words that came from my parent. Life is a battle and we must engage in this battle.
sorry for that technical hitch but we thank god we are back again and uh, we were just looking at uh, a question we had posted before we went for the break and uh, you assured us that such things are there yes uh, people might leak mm. and uh, we want to approach you now the clinical point of view before we get to the next healthy habit yeah, we need a lot of professionalism when we're handling people's issues and realizing that's a privilege when someone shares with you their issue and they shouldn't find it elsewhere because one of the qualities of a good counselor mm -hmm. is the ability to keep the matter with them mm -hmm. you know until perhaps a time when the one who shared with you gives you permission you know like um, um i know the case whereby pastor wakes up and says even sister so and so came to me and she <laughs> <was an> sti <laughs> and i prayed for her and she received and healing she received immediate healing yes and, and she just and, uh, and got it from a sister so and so's wife a, a husband yeah. and you know <laughs> <laughs> now you've broken families yes you've broken families you've broken the trust of this sister there have been churches whereby in the name of prophecy mm -hmm. someone just wakes up and points somebody in the congregation mm -hmm. but i discovered that there are some attitudes that are more you know detrimental than they are helpful mm -hmm. what what happened to one-on-one -on -one, you know approach to issues and then what happened to genuine platforms for feedback in the church mm -hmm. like it's no problem if you just put some a suggestion uh, is, box. A mechanism may not even be a suggestion box mm -hmm. find out what is the feelings of people because most most people most leaders are not you know they don't want to hear about what people are going through mm -hmm. as long as people are there then they are okay and somebody said out of experience so many people have learned to be silent very true yes out of experience <laughs> they choose silent. to be silent if your spouse all of a sudden especially your wife talks to you and then finally she keeps quiet <laughs> <laughs> don't think that uh, finally i have one yes <laughs> you are in trouble you are in trouble you've started pushing her away mm. perhaps one of these very fine days we shall look at the you know stages of deteriorating uh, marriage Mm -hmm. So um, all those kinds of stuff, um, they need a lot of maturity mm -hmm. and as, um, as a, a lead servant of God, perhaps you need to put a department in place to mm -hmm. handle issues, counseling, mm -hmm. so that you reduce yourself to the ministry of the word and mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. Very, 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 very important. Wow. Because once in a while you are likely to pull out some examples. Mm -hmm. let it be very neutral examples mm -hmm. and once you approach it from a point of neutrality people will trust you mm -hmm. and people even will uh, get a lot of confidence in your ministry mm -hmm. all right so let's go to the next habit yes i was saying jesus did not associate with the pharisees after his resurrection mm -hmm. yes before he he was in their midst Mm -hmm. yes, he stayed with them, but after the cross, he didn't go to them to prove that you know, guys. I finally, am, I, did. I, I did it. Yes, you, <laughs> you thought, you know. Uh, so it's important to set up boundaries mm -hmm. as a habit, very healthy boundaries. Mm -hmm. It is foolishness for you to go back to a place and to a person that really hurt you and say no. Let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. Must you reconcile every time you get off the Must forgiveness be accompanied with reconciliation? Maybe if we we defined what reconciliation <laughs> is. <laughs> Just coming together, restoration of, of uh, your relationship. Uh, I always have a habit of uh, I will forgive you but deny you access yes. to my heart I guess yes. most of the times people are too generous with their hearts mm -hmm. um, 
once you've been hurt from a place, one of the characteristics you will know is that these people are unrepentant. So make it a choice, a decision in advance mm -hmm. for the, for you to, you know, just forgive even before anyone apologizes. Mm -hmm. You let go. But that is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. But then access, as you said, must mm -hmm. be denied. Mm -hmm. The consolation must only take place if both sides are apologetic. Mm. Yes. Otherwise, if you forgive a very difficult person and a mean person mm -hmm. and give yourself to them again, they are likely to hurt you. Mm -hmm. if you look at Jesus after his resurrection. He spent his time with those who understood his mission. Mm -hmm. His disciples. Because he didn't want again to change his message. The Bible says mm -hmm. when he came back, the message is one, the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He never said, you Pharisees are like small children, addressing their issues, because in this life you have to be very selective. Mm -hmm. So, uh, he, he knew he had only 40 days to prepare his... His departure. Yes, mm -hmm. his departure. So he spent a lot of time with his disciples and his protégés, mm -hmm. and that is how it was very effective. So forgiveness does not restore trust. Mm -hmm. It restores uh, the, restore, uh, the, 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 the you know, fact that you are my brother, you are my sister, but it takes two repentant people to restore trust. You get that? Mm -hmm. So you need to have a very strategic move as a healthy person. You need to act with wisdom. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yes. Only draw boundaries only to the level whereby uh, you say no up to this level i will i will relate with you mm -hmm. beyond this yes beyond this no level. goes on yes. because there must be layers in your in your life mm -hmm. there must be a, a general layer where every other person will fit the multitudes will fit mm -hmm. and then there's another layer the inner layer where 12 mm -hmm. can fit and then there's a layer for three. Then there's a layer for three. And then there's a layer for alone yes, on the in the mountain. There is a layer for uh, being alone on the mountain. So you need to know when and where a good dancer knows when to exit the stage. The stage. Yes. And that's wisdom. Know when to connect and know when to disconnect. Because not all the times you are just there for freedom. There must be some times for you. Must be time for your family. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is very uh, interesting. Sometimes, you know, we waste a lot of time on people trying to impress the people that even don't know us. And they even don't care. <laughs> you get that? <laughs> but if you spare some time and get off soul's presence, <laughs> go to your father's place, father's place, and just be just there. And you will discover that the smaller your circle, the better your life. <laughs> And the far you can go. And sometimes you don't know. Some sometimes what you are calling circle is not actually circle. <laughs> uh, until you have done how many things? Three things. You have traveled with that circle. Mm -hmm. You have transacted with them in terms of money. Mm -hmm. and then you have shared with them their issues and their weaknesses, and your weaknesses, and they know your weaknesses. But they still love you. Mm. Now that's a circle. Wow. Yes. Travel with them. You travel with them. Transact with yes. them. Yes. Especially in in, in in the Kenyan currency. Yes. <laughs> Money. Money. Yes. And then share with them. Yes. Because even in the sharing, this is how I me, I don't just come and tell you know, this is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. I, I I it starts by testing. Be like an ego, testing the Male, female ego to seek the male. Don't just uh, come and pour everything to you. Uh, and Ani, I think God an angel.
Father, some people you show them one photo like this, so check. then you find them. Scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> what are they looking for? And then, even as an individual, also respect people's boundaries. <laughs> you know, like the people, the, what they are not comfortable sharing, please respect. Together, you know, yeah. just tell me, just tell me right now, no. Mm -hmm. Just respect what, respect even your small child. Mm -hmm. Most of these children lose trust in the parents because most parents are dictatorial. Mm -hmm. They don't believe that a child has their own will. And this is where or why this generation is colliding with the other generations. Mm -hmm. I get it. Because they also deserve to be heard. They also deserve to be listened to. You know, if you are taking away this this thing, then to place it with something better. You know, just take it and uh, bring that phone here. Mm -hmm. Explain to them. They deserve to, to, to they deserve a dialogue. They deserve to sit down and listen to them. So you must put healthy boundaries. That's a best that's a healthy heart. Mm -hmm. When you, you see a person coming to a meeting and we just have to discuss what has brought us, mm -hmm. we are focused. Mm -hmm. Know what has taken you to church. Mm -hmm. Know what has taken you to school. I usually tell students, you are not TSE. When you go to school, you are not TSE. <laughs> when you go to any family, mm -hmm. you are not the husband. To tell the wife how to, you know, cook food. Mm -hmm. you get are they okay? Are they okay with an, an, an done bed? Are mm. they okay with the cup on the on the table? And Another one on the chair. The, the chair. And they are very okay. There is a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. Leave them. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Don't go to them and say, hey, you're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going If it is a mjinga ni ali o. I'm going to pick a chakula mbich. Labda he loves eating chakula mbich. Why has he not complained? Yeah. And if and if he complains, why has he not complained to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. So most of the time we rush after wrong things. Because I discovered you can never control people's behavior. But you can control your response. You can respond you can control it from me, I don't react to life. <laughs> there are people I don't receive their calls. I have don't answer one. Don't answer two. Don't, don't answer, answer three. three. Like <laughs> that. And this is for the sake of my own health mm -hmm. as a minister. Mm -hmm. Because anytime you give them access, they are holding. The Bible says they have smiles on their face and their lips are so sweet. Mm -hmm. But they have drawn swords in their heart. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They are yeah. looking for one single Chance. opportunity. Mm -hmm. And your life will go down. And this time, they strike well. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they missed last yes, time. Yes, they know where they missed last time. This time, if you give them access and how, mm -hmm. they will pull you down. Mm -hmm. and, oh. and God will not be responsible for them. Hey, our patient out there, I know we are being enlightened. Have you been a victim whereby uh, you say the Bible say, forgive... Uh, 70 times 7 in a day and you say yes they have hurt me they forgive and then you still give them access it's a warning that we need healthy boundaries forgive but if they're not apologetic demarcate a boundary deny access but you'll have forgiven from your part wow this one <laughs> I, I'm seeing so many mistakes that we have been making. Yes. That yes, I forgive them, and we interact like no more. Yes. And then the second heart comes. Yes. It has gone to a group of schools. Yes, yes. <laughs> this one is not for a high school. A group of schools. It it, it organizes your funeral, buries you. Yes. And after that, celebrate. They 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 throw a party. Yes. Finally, we did it. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And there are people who are agents of the devil. Anointed by the devil. Anointed by the devil. So they'll never apologize. Mm -hmm. 
never. They will ne you wait, you wait. So it's just nonsense for you to say, you know, I'm waiting for them to apologize for me to forgive them. Because some of them you are carrying them in their heart and they don't they afford the rent in your heart. Mm -hmm. Let them go. Someone told me, betrayal is what people do to us. Mm -hmm. Bitterness is what we do to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> they betray us, yes. but we embitter ourselves. Yeah. Someone told me if, if, if you are bitter, it's like you are, it's like taking poison, mm -hmm. expecting someone else to die. <laughs> some, some, some people will think that if I don't talk to them anymore, mm -hmm. that they I'm punishing see. them. Those people are hardened. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, they will, uh, they will behave like there's nothing wrong they yes. did. And, and even you pray, even if you pray for them to pray, to die, they will not die. They're, in fact, the healthier <laughs> they become. Because God has to keep them alive for some time mm -hmm. so that they can see how your life changes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. That is a good dose. Yes. That is a wonderful I'm challenged, and I hope uh, uh, even our viewer outside there uh, is also challenged. And I can see our time. Mwalimu wa Kiswahili ya sema imetupa kisogo. Muda wetu umetupa kisogo. But thank you so much for always spending your time and creating time just to come and and help our hearts heal. Amen. Yes. <laughs> you know, when, when the heart is is healthy, yes. yeah, the entire life will be it's an healthy. enjoyable yeah, life. Sure, sure. You enjoy living, mm. and you wonder why people want to commit suicide. Yes. That's because you have a healthy heart. Sure. But let it not be healthy. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so God bless you. God keep, keep you. I hope uh, this week we are going to ensure we put healthy boundaries so that we guard our hearts. We intentionally ensure our hearts are healthy. I've been your host, Venance Hisa. Have a blessed day. Uh, continue getting in touch with Balozi Television. Vipindi vietu ni vya kuelimisha. Ni vipindi ambavyo huta ogopa kuochi na watoto na familia kwa jumla. Na tutaendelea kubarikiwa kwa pamoja. Bye bye for now.